Lakers want Anthony Davis to attempt six three-pointers per game, H.C. Darvin Ham says. During the first half of an NBA preseason basketball game in San Francisco, Los Angeles Lakers head coach Darvin Ham is hoping to see star big man Anthony Davis add a new dimension to his already impressive offensive arsenal this season. I want him, if he can. I know he won't do it, but maybe he'll shock me. But I've requested to see six three-point attempts a game," Ham said after practice Tuesday, per ESPN's Dave McMenamin. Three per half, at least. I wouldn't put that on him if I didn't think he was capable. Davis averaged only 1.3 attempts from beyond the arc last season. And the most he's ever averaged in a season was 3.5 attempts in his first season in Los Angeles in 2019-20. He struggled mightily with his efficiency last year, shooting 25.7% from three-point range during the regular season and 33.3% in the playoffs. However, through two preseason games, the 30-year-old appears to have embraced his coach's request. Davis saw limited action against the Golden State Warriors and Brooklyn Nets, playing for a combined 27 minutes. Still, he went three of six from three-point range across the two contests. He said he's been working with Lakers assistant coach Chris Gent over the offseason to improve his outside shot. Just getting back to being a threat at all three levels, Davis said when asked about his three-point shooting during media day last week. Not sure where it's at until we get into practices and games. Anybody can shoot in workouts and make shots when there's no pressure on them. An improved shooting stroke for Davis would greatly benefit a Lakers team that ranked 25th in team three-point percentage last season at 34.6%. That's something that he's worked on, being a more consistent shooter and not just more consistent in his normal areas but consistent from deep range, Ham said of Davis, and not hesitating, not overthinking it. So if he's got a good look, we've all encouraged him to put it up. Davis appears ready to fire away when the Lakers open the 2023-24 season on October 24 against the defending champion Denver Nuggets. Kevin Durant Rumors Star likely would have stayed with Nets if Ben Simmons was healthy. Kevin Durant reportedly would have been willing to stay with the Brooklyn Nets last season after Kyrie Irving's departure if Ben Simmons were healthy. Brian Lewis of the New York Post reported Simmons' health also played a factor in Durant forcing a February trade to the Phoenix Suns. Simmons was limited to 42 games last season due to injuries and looked like a shell of his former self when on the floor. He averaged career lows in points, 6.9, rebounds, 6.3, and assists, 6.1, while showing a noteworthy regression on defense. The idea that Simmons' presence would have been enough to fix the strained relationship between Durant and Nets management seems unlikely. Durant had already requested a trade once in the summer of 2022 amid his frustration with the franchise, and Irving's departure was the final straw. Most expected Simmons to be 100% healthy at the beginning of last season when Durant was angling for a trade in the first place. If Simmons' health was such a paramount issue, then it is unlikely Durant would have wanted out ahead of the 2022-23 campaign. Perhaps if Simmons were healthy and playing all-star caliber basketball, neither Durant nor Irving would have angled for a trade. The Nets may have been an Eastern Conference championship competitor rather than a frustrating ran with depth issues and questionable coaching. As it stands, the Nets will be holding their breath hoping for a return to form from Simmons this season. The three-time All-Star is owed more than $78 million over the next two seasons, and the Nets would love to get some return on their investment after getting next to nothing a year ago. Real Madrid joined Barcelona in race for Julian Alvarez. The two La Liga giants could be set to battle it out for Julian Alvarez. But Manchester City will not let him go easily, as the Argentine has become a key player. The FIFA World Cup champion is only 23 but has won every big trophy there is already. His combination of scoring ability and work rate make him a coach's dream, and he's known as a favorite of Pep Guardiola's. According to reports from Argentina, Real Madrid are interested in Alvarez and know that he wants to be an undisputed starter and would love to play in La Liga. Even though he is playing more for Manchester City, the Argentine is still not as prominent in the team as Erling Haaland.
However, unlike earlier reports that Alvarez has a relatively affordable release clause, the report from Argentina says he has no such clause. Madrid have enough money to try to buy Alvarez, but Barcelona currently do not. They would have to make some important sales or lower salaries drastically in order to afford him. Liverpool fans showed solidarity with the Palestinians during the Merseyside Derby earlier today. Multiple Palestine flags were raised at Anfield by fans prior to the game despite the Premier League issuing a ban on flags from both Palestine and Israel amidst the current situation. The Premier League announced on Thursday that flags were banned from the stadiums for matches this weekend as they looked to avoid any incidents. However, Palestinian flags were still raised by some Liverpool fans inside Anfield. They also displayed another banner that read, For God's sake, save Gaza. From Leeds Cup glory to NLS playoff race agony, grading every Lionel Messi performance from the Inter-Miami superstar in the 2023 season. For the remainder of the campaign, goals Ryan Tolmich will be evaluating the seven-time Ballon d'Or winner's displays in the United States. Lionel Messi has well and truly arrived into American soccer as the Argentine superstar wasted no time in making his presence felt following his headline-grabbing move from Paris Saint-Germain to Inter Miami in July. Messi is undoubtedly the biggest star in NLS, and almost certainly the biggest the league has ever seen, and therefore all eyes were on him as he looked to lift Miami from towards the bottom of the table into playoff contenders and eventually title challengers. In the end, Tata Martino's team fell short of that target, thanks in no small part to Messi suffering an injury that saw him miss multiple matches down the stretch. He fared better in the cup competitions though, guiding Miami to their first trophy as they won the Leeds Cup, while helping them earn a place in the final of the US Open Cup. Goal was there throughout to ensure you didn't miss out on any of Messi's displays during his time in Miami, as United States writer Ryan Tolmich casted his eye over all of the Argentines' performances and gave an evaluation on how Messi fared in each of his outings with his new club. Inter-Miami fans had to be patient for that debut, with Messi not named to the starting XI, but it certainly was worth the wait. With the game level and just seconds remaining, Messi stepped up and buried a free kick, leading Inter Miami to victory and ushering in a new era of American soccer. It's a moment that will be replayed for years, the moment that Messi truly arrived in this section of the world. It was the dream debut, the dream goal, for Inter Miami's dream player. The first of many, you'd expect, but when all was said and done, it was a night that will be included in any and every highlight reel going forward. How could you possibly follow up that debut? Well, this is Messi we're talking about. Of course he took things a step further in round two. Handed his first start in Inter Miami pink, Messi was absolutely dominant in a 4-0 triumph over Atlanta United. He scored the first two, both within the first 22 minutes, before setting up the next two. In the process, he made Robert Taylor look like prime Luis Suarez, with Taylor, in these early days, being the biggest beneficiary of Messi's arrival. This was a performance that was Messi at his best. He scored his own goals, of course, but he also created more, and not just through his passing, but also with the gravity and pull he has on every opposition player on the pitch. Orlando City did what Atlanta United and Cruz Azul did not. They roughed up Messi a bit. A good strategy for sure. If you can't beat him, beating him up may be your only hope. Unfortunately for Orlando, it literally didn't matter. Messi torched them anyway. Despite being fouled hard several times, Messi scored twice in the win, one in either half. His first was a fantastic volley off a lovely cross from Robert Taylor. His second was another volley off a lovely cross from Joseph Martinez. Pure Messi, pure brilliance, and another Miami win. With his two goals, Messi now has five goals in three games, a ridiculous stat line even for the Gio 8. Orlando tried something different, and they barely slowed him down. Another game, another victim for Messi, who continued to terrorize all in his path. Great.